We unconsciously think that if I accept something, then it won't change. Mm. But that couldn't be further from the truth. When we're pushing away from something, we're actually giving our energy to it. So I think the first thing is to notice that that doesn't work. So it's like there's a block and then we're like, I don't want this block and I push it away. <laughs> right. <laughs> and yet we're further stuck with it when we give our energy to it, we push it away. So the first awareness is that that doesn't work. And so then to bring curiosity into it. It's like, what is this here to teach me? How can I use this? To me, if we change our relationship with the blocks, the blocks change. So if we're not pushing it away, we're not resisting it, we can get curious and really hear what the deeper lesson and gift is. So let's ground this a little bit. Yeah. So I had a woman come to see me. I work as a business coach and I had this woman wanting to double her team and her income and really grow her leadership. Okay. She kept doing all the strategic things, but kept hitting up against this block, right? The same block, she didn't even know what it was. And anytime we're really pushing against the grain, that's a really, that's to shift it with inside of us. Like mm -hmm. Einstein says, you can't change a problem at the same level of thinking that created it. Mm -hmm. So acceptance is the way out of this dualistic paradigm. Okay, accept it. Then we can relax into it and we can listen to it. And one really powerful question people can ask themselves is, one fear I have of having my goal is, so with this woman, I said, what's one fear you have of doubling your income? She's like, I have no fear of doubling my income. This is why I'm here. This is what I really want. I said, let's slow it down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Based on results. Get, <laughs> <laughs> let's get curious. So what's those, the competing intention? What's, what's the perceived payoff around this? So it's like, I had asked her, she's like, I just said, slow it down. One fear I have if I double my income is, and then she's like, ah, when my mom got a raise, my parents divorced. There you go. And so she had unconsciously thought that if she grew her business, then she was not going to have a strong marriage. And she wanted both of those things. So they were competing inside of her. And so we have the wisdom and we can just ans ask certain questions to help open our wisdom to something. And then our strategy is so much easier to be effective because mm -hmm. we're not pushing against ourselves. We're not creating more friction for ourselves than needs to be. If you are that person yeah. and you're like, I don't have a block, block on making money, what would that person be experiencing yeah. in order to allow themselves permission to call it a block? Like what is the feeling of like, if you don't know you have a block, how do you know well, you have a block? Some, I think most people do. And I think sometimes there's this like low grade anxiety or just like trying to control everything so that then we feel okay really outsourcing our well being. Mm -hmm. So I think it can be low grade. And once we remove the block, we feel so much lighter. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I didn't even realize it was on. I get that. But one thing is just notice if in your body you feel any sense of holding or pushing uphill or you're doing everything you can and you're just not getting to where you want to go. So really just being mindful and not judging that pattern. Yes. I think that's one of the hardest things because literally when there's a block, but then we judge the block and we're further trapped in it. So the moment of like, oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be judging myself right now. Like that takes us out of it instantly. We are moving into a place of acceptance where then we have altitude and we can see more creative solutions, innovative ideas to move through it. Awesome. Yeah. Love it.